of the World Middleweight Championship Series brought to you by Don King Productions and Madison Square Garden in association with TVKO, Valley's Atlantic City, Caesars Atlantic City, and Budweiser, the undisputed king of beers. This unification bout coming away is sanctioned by the WBA resident Hilberto Mendoza, supervisor Gonzalo Lopez Silvero, the WBC President Jose Suleiman, Supervisor Mario Lantraverse, the IBF President Hiawatha Knight, Supervisor Joseph Dwyer, and the New York State Athletic Commission, the Chairman is Mel Southerd, Commissioners Jerome Becker and Mark Hornstein. Introducing to you our three judges scoring this bout from ringside from Oneida Castle, New York, Don Ackerman. From Johannesburg, South Africa, Stanley Christodoulou. And from Bangkok, Thailand, Anik Hong Tongkam. And the third man to the ring, our referee in charge of this bout, working in this his 93rd world title bout, Steve Smoger. All right, fans, here we go with the bout you've all been waiting for. 12 rounds of boxing for the undisputed middleweight championship of the world. And now, ladies and gentlemen in attendance and boxing fans joining us around the world, live from Madison Square Garden, it is time for the main event of the evening. Introducing to you first on my left, fighting out of the red corner, wearing red, white, and blue trunks, hailing from and representing Cupe Alto, Puerto Rico. He weighed in at 158 and one half pounds. He is undefeated in his campaign in the ring with 40 wins, no losses, 33 wins coming by way of knockout. Here is the five-time world champion in three weight divisions, the current WBA middleweight champion of the world. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome El Gran Campeón Puerto Riqueño, introducing Felix Chico Trinidad. opponent across the ring on my right fighting out of the blue corner wearing red trunks with silver trim fighting out of Philadelphia Pennsylvania he weighed in at a trim and ready 157 pounds his record stands at 39 wins two losses one draw with 28 wins coming by way of knockout tonight ladies and gentlemen he is making the 14th defense of his title here is the WBC and IBF middleweight champion of the world, introducing uh, Bernard, the executioner, Hopkins. Once again, a referee in charge, Steve Smoger, now to give instructions. Gentlemen, we're giving you instructions to weigh in, both in English and Spanish. Please obey my commands, protect yourself at all times, respect the bell, touch gloves. Touch him up. Respect, respect. Touch him, Bernard. Let's go, let's go. The fight to survive and thrive have always made New York a fight town now more than ever. Bernard Hopkins, Felix Trinidad, personify that spirit. Bernard Hopkins claims he wants to test Trinidad's chin in the first round. Trinidad's father says his son is going to knock Hopkins out in the first round. Sometimes all that is just talk. Sometimes it means real fireworks from the opening bell. Trinidad knocked Joppy down in the first. He knocked Vargas down twice in the first. Well, Trinidad can't be waiting with this boxer. He's got to get off. Bernard Hopkins' job is to stay close, make this guy discouraged, make him look to the referee and start complaining early. Because that referee speech didn't impress me at all. Hard right hand over the top by Hopkins. Partially blocked by Trinidad, but serious enough to make him move back into the corner. in favor of 
Trinidad as they demonstrated in three fight pageantry. Trinidad likes to have room when he punch, throws his punches. It's up to Hopkins to stay close, as close as he can. Hopkins prizes his skills as an infighter. Many experts expect that Hopkins at some point will try to get up into Trinidad's chest and take away his punching range. And he hasn't done that yet. The old saying is, Oscar De La Hoya moved, I'm going to move. But yet, that's not the way to fight Trinidad because you lose energy as the rounds go on. As De La Hoya learns. They trade jabs through much of round one. Biggest blows so far, a Hopkins right hand over the top. Trinidad like to stay paused with his, on the ball of his right foot and, and just throw that clean with that right hand. Hopkins, yeah, you always compare him to a sprinter, the way he gets up on that front foot. He's on the mark, and Hopkins' job is to keep him off the mark. Trinidad lands the left hook and Hopkins backs away from their first chest-to-chest -chest clinch. Hopkins tries to go inside again, working to try to get at Trinidad's body. Both fighters try lead right hands. Hopkins just not figure yet how to get close. Now he's got it. He's got to keep it just like that. That's the fight he won. Holding with the left hand upstairs as he hit with the right hand downstairs. Smoker hasn't yet been a part of the action. He's the third man in the ring, the referee. Bernard Hopkins want to keep hugging and pushing this guy. Keep this a wrestling match in his favor. That right hand inside, inside by Bernard. Bernard. Hopkins again lands a right. Trinidad misses his. Hopkins lands his own. Round one is a bit of a scuffle. Hopkins got a little of what he wanted and landed two right hands. And showed that he's not going to be walking into that left hook if he can help it. I need you to jab, okay? I need you to jab, all right? Jab for me, baby. Jab. Stay out of the corner. The fight shows in the center of the ring, and I want you to jab. Pump that jab. We worked on it, so let's pump it. Pump it and get the jab right. Hold your head up a little bit. All right, the same thing you did in the okay. first round. Let's continue that. And we're calm, you know, to be tranquil. No, he, no, hey, no, he, no, he no, can't no, beat no, me. No, I got him. Are you okay now, Tito? You got to move, Tito. You got that jab. Make sure the jab is first. Well, it wasn't a first round knockout. Plan B. It wasn't even a highly artistic first round. By CompuBox numbers, it was a missed punch fest. Trinidad was 4 out of 27. Hopkins was 6 out of 43, according to CompuBox. Harold Letterman scored the round for Tito Trinidad. Hopkins is being real smart. He jabs, yet he understands that he has thought of a reach advantage with the height there. And he's out of the way once he does that jab. And moving primarily to his left, you want to trying to get away from the deadly left of Trinidad. You really want to make Trinidad throw a lot of left because he prefers to hit you with that right, then throw that left hook. George, is it fair to guess that Hopkins either wants to be way outside or way inside? Yeah, he just hasn't figured out this guy yet. He's trying to get relaxed in there, and that's that's the hard job to move around. He's not comfortable moving, I can tell you that. Trinidad leaves room, and that, that benefits Trinidad when the fight is at long range. So again, they trade from long range in round two. Neither fighter really into an offensive rhythm yet. Trinidad threw a limited number of punches for him in round one. Now he lands a right hand across the top. Trinidad trying to close the range down and step in on Hopkins. He's trying to close the range, but yet he want to keep some distance so that long right hand can come. Well, he doesn't want to completely close it. He's looking to get right on the mark. 
Hopkins sticks the jab to the no no This is unusual that Hopkins would give Trinidad this kind of respect in the first couple of rounds. Very surprised. That's what you don't want to do with You thought that Hopkins game. would gamble more against Trinidad early? Just jump right on him. You're not. He said he wasn't afraid. Talking to talk, now you got to jump on him. Hopkins beginning to unveil his jab and sticking it accurately for the moment. Once he tastes any of Trinidad's power, then you're really going to see the motorboat move. Got nothing else. And that's a dangerous position to be in when you're in the ring with a guy. Knowing that he's intense. Hard right hand by Hopkins. Biggest blow in the fight. Trinidad momentarily stunned. Bell, 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 bell. Bell, bell, bell. How do you feel, Tito? He didn't hurt you, did he? But don't, don't, don't get careless now. Don't get careless now, in, in the moment, you, you better go that way, make sure you, you're in it for it. Hopkins has been working at distance with his jab, hoping to get Trinidad to come to him, found him in range, punch was a little high. Trinidad might have been momentarily stunned, but took the punch well. Compu box numbers in round two. Hopkins 10 out of 40. Trinidad 2 out of 19. So Felix Trinidad in two rounds has thrown by Compu box numbers only 46 punches. Hopkins throwing twice as many. Not landing all that much, but the one big right hand was the biggest blow of the fight. You don't want to get a kid like that mad. Once you hit him once, get back on him and do something. Tito's father asking him son, his son to work the jab. Work the jab. He tries to get started with it here. Firing the left hand again. Trinidad is on the mark. What do you mean by that, George? He's on the ball of that right foot. When you see him up on, a, on, a, on his right foot like that, he's on the mark getting ready to deliver like a track runner or something. Take off. But oh, now, got to keep him out that position. Got to keep him out of that position. And how? How do you keep him out of that you position? By, by moving to his left, so he always have to pick that foot up and set it down. Right. Now he's off. Now. Hopkins says he'll be watching his feet as much as his hands just for that reason. Hopkins varying the pace just a little, leading with the left hook there instead of the jab. Now Trinidad fires his own right hand across the top and gets the top of Hopkins' head. He allowed Trinidad to get set that time, and he, get, and he paid for it. <laughs> the range is closing up a little. Trinidad moving closer. And Tito beginning to loosen up and throw a few more punches. That was the case in the first couple of rounds. Don't Hopkins' punch. back don't is punch. starting to touch the ring, the ropes a lot more. That's what you don't want. Let your back touch the rope with Trinidad. So you think Hopkins wants to stay in the middle of the ring and box with Yeah, he can box and he can, he's always successful if he boxes, but you don't want your back touching those ropes. You don't need the whole ring to box, just the middle of it. The fight that Hopkins won. Hug and push and hit. You may notice that there's some printing on the back of Bernard Hopkins who rented it out for about $100,000 to a dot-com gambling service and then bet the $100,000 on himself to win the fight. 
I mean, either way, the tattoo is clean, huh? Yeah, either way, the, the tattoo is already fading as the sweat pours off of Hopkins' body here in round three. But Bernard Hopkins isn't fading. No, and the bet looks pretty good, at least for the moment, as he gives Trinidad a spirited fight. Bernard Hopkins is dictating the tempo, and he's making Trinidad think about coming more to him. Hopkins sticks the jab right on the point of Trinidad's chin as round three comes to a close. How do you feel? Deep breath, deep breath. <laughs> With your hands up, you gotta keep your hands up. It, it's gonna be easy now. It, it's only a matter of time before you get him. You're gonna have it to get him there. Not the hard side, to that quick side inside. To get him out of there. Bernard Hopkins showing that a Philadelphia fighter can box as well as brawl whatever his reputation is. Round four begins. Harold Letterman, how'd you score the first three? Look at Jim. I got a two to one. 29-28. Bernard Hopkins. In the first round, that's what Tito Trinidad did. What happens good? And Bernard would take that step to the right and rush in. Tito put him on the way out. But rounds two and three, it's that Hopkins left jab, boxing from the outside, the occasional straight right hand, landing a clean of shots, out boxing him. Now Trinidad has Hopkins moving in on him. That's what you want. You want Hopkins to get that brave to try to follow this hard hitting Trinidad. so far that he can deal with Trinidad's punch. No, oh, that punch can't be dealt with, Larry. You gotta stay smart. Must stay Please, smart. Don't punch, don't punch, don't punch. Stop, stop, stop. Felix Trinidad only threw 67 punches in the first three rounds of the fight by CompuBox numbers. That's a very limited offensive output. He has begun to fire here in round four, but Hopkins is firing back and lands a right hand to the body there. Clean jabs by Hopkins. Bernard Hopkins said that this fight would be his defining moment. So far, he's had pockets of brilliance and seems to be getting Trinidad for the most part to fight his fight. But there have been moments here in round four when Tito seemed to be turning the tide. Hopkins intending to move like this is a good idea that he did weigh in at 157. That can help him. Off the neck, off the and Trinidad sized Hopkins up in the corner. Hopkins landed three punches in a row. Then Felix went to the body as Bernard moved away. Bernard, once again, is spending too much time on the rope. So far, Hopkins has completely neutralized the left hand of Trinidad. Can Trinidad find a way to put him on the defensive without that left hand? The right hand fails there. Hard right hand by Hopkins, lands flush. It was a close enough round that that last big right hand by Hopkins may have been the decisive Look at that, it's done. Look at that, it's don't let him out jab you. He wants to jab because he don't want you to jab. He don't like that jab. Jab with me. All right? Quick shot. Don't worry about the big shot. I want to see the quick shot. All right? He's not going to hit you. You got to take it easy. Don't, don't get careless now. That was the fifth round, and now we're calm. I 
You gotta keep your hands up. Yeah, you gotta keep your hands up. So you can get them. Okay, real close, real close, real, real tight. Bernard Hopkins' trainer, Bowie Fisher, is not nearly as well known as Felix Trinidad Sr., but Fisher is a 73-year-old proven pro who knows every trick in the book and has done a brilliant job of training Hopkins throughout his career. He told him to try to jab with Trinidad. That's not a good idea. Don't jab with him. You catch him off balance and then jab it because he turns that jab into a hook once you start trying to step in with power. Trinidad does. He will wait until he's finished and then get him. Hopkins blocking Trinidad's jab with his right glove. Bernard continually moving to his left. Stay away from Trinidad's left. And he steps in and bangs his right hand against the side of Trinidad's head. Hopkins misses the right. Trinidad misses the left. Hopkins fires a little left hook inside. Hopkins is doing a good job of staying over there making Trinidad throw those left hooks. That's where you want to be because he's a bit more accurate with his right hands, Trinidad is. Make him miss with left hook. Don't try to make him miss with the right hands. Hopkins a little bit quicker with his jab. Now Trinidad corners him. Tries to step in, Bernard steps away. Solid left by Trinidad. Trinidad seeming to take a little velocity off the left was trying to land it. Hopkins is not making the mistake that Bernard, uh, that uh, Joppy did by letting uh, Trinidad lay on his left hand. He holds it. Certainly not making the mistake that both Joppy and Vargas made of standing in front of Trinidad. He hasn't done much of that. says he's not going to ask the referee to change things. He'll take it into his own hands. When Oscar Deloya came out and appeared to many eyes at ringside to win the first seven rounds against Felix Trinidad, none of the three judges sitting at ringside scored it exactly that way. Right now, there's a chance that in the eyes of many here, Bernard Hopkins has won the first five rounds against Trinidad. Will the judges once again insist on giving rounds to Trinidad when he doesn't seem to be winning any of them. That's what happened against De Loya. This is the kind of champ Trinidad that you're going to knock him out to knock him out to win it. You may as well forget trying to win this thing on point. 
you want the title that he possessed, you got to knock him out. So you're saying that Bernard shouldn't fool himself into believing that he's succeeding just because he seems to be winning the round. No, you can't coach yourself to a victory with a champion like this. The judges are not going to allow you to do it. And I think this pace is a little too much for Bernard Hoff. He's used too much of his legs early on. Well, certainly Trinidad hasn't overused his. He's only thrown 23 punches per round, which is a very low punch output by CompuBox numbers. Now Trinidad lands a big right hand against the ropes, but Hopkins steps away and lands in return. Remember Trinidad's amazing stamina. Hopkins lands a right, Trinidad lands a left. Felix is a marathon runner who builds the tempo from round to round, and he's trying to build it with the left hook right here. Four straight left hands by Trinidad. Hopkins blocked almost every one of those punches. And there's no sign yet that Hopkins is wearing down. Oh, yeah, there are a lot of signs. But two men are countering it. What are the signs that he's wearing down? He went to his ring, to a, to a corner, and laid his legs flat out. Trinidad is still sitting in a sitting position. Hopkins looks pretty good here as he backs Trinidad up with a combination. A furious pace in round six, by far the best round of the fight. Back to the ropes again, Hopkins. They begin to trade power shots at close range, and this is Trinidad's game. Can't play power shot with Trinidad. Because every time he hits he hit you, you are still lingering, lingering on. The, the damage lingers on and starts to accumulate. Trinidad ripping Here's left hook snap. Up. And he pushes Hopkins head back. And Smoker says, don't do it again. Round six was a beauty. Don't give no excuses for no bullshit out there. Keep doing your job. You're going to all right. All I think I want to see is that quick right hand. The quick right hand. Por favor, Tito, please. Watch the head. Hopkins with two left hands, quick little left hands. That was a clean, hard shot, which Trinidad seemed to take well. Trinidad aggressive, perhaps a little frustrated at the end. You're not going to find this kind of determination often in a fight as you see in Phoenix Trinidad. Why don't you want to give Hopkins more credit, George? He's fighting a terrific fight so far. He's doing a great job. But this determination of this guy keeps coming back, it just takes everything out of your legs, takes everything out of your heart. Well, it's, they're both champions. Between rounds, Felix Trinidad asked his father in the corner, am I winning the fight? And Trinidad Sr. said, yes, you are. Harold Letterman, how have you scored it through six? <laughs> I'm getting you four rounds to two, 58, 56, Bernard Hopkins. And then in my wildest dreams thought that I'd ever see Bernard Hopkins win his fight with an outside game, but that's what he's doing. Staying outside, hopping on the jab, coming back with the straight right hands. In that round six, I just thought Felix Trinidad was a little bit the aggressor, got into better shots. I've given Trinidad rounds one and six, all the rest of Hopkins. Hopkins trying to load up with that quick right hand. Everything is trying to execute what his trainer told him to do, throw the quick right hand. Trinidad catches you in that exchange, it's top trouble time. More and more, George, Trinidad is able to land his left hook. Why? Well, Hopkins has given me the left hook because if he's able to land one jab, stay a little closer, he's always able to get the left hook off. I don't worry about the left hook if I'm uh, don't punch, don't Hopkins. Punch, don't punch. I worry about that right hand. Four punches in combination by Hopkins there, finishing up to the body. Trinidad 
stalking relentlessly, imposing mental pressure on Hopkins as he does on all of his opponents. Even when technically outgunned, Felix Trinidad is always coming. Always coming. Good thing about Hopkins, he's not allowing Trinidad to get up on that right foot. He's making him keep it flat. That's what you want. If he's going to hit you, let him be out of position to do it good. Ooh, Banky. Dropping right hand by Hopkins. The second one partially blocked. The crowd ooing and eyeing as Hopkins continues to score. Exceeding the expectations of many. That's not like a Philadelphia fighter at all, thinking. <laughs> George, there's been a lot of great boxers out of Philadelphia. And you couldn't survive the famous gym wars in Philadelphia if you couldn't box. Yeah, this guy's boxing tonight. Oscar De La Hoya exposed the vulnerability of Trinidad. Yes, particularly Trinidad's vulnerability to feints and movement. Hopkins said to me, I'm no De La Hoya, but I saw that Felix fell for every feint against Oscar, so I'll be using them too. He closed the lead on him, son. As long as you keep that jab going, you're home. You're going to be home free. All right? You cannot out jab you. On my head. Okay, let, let's see. If, if you get up there, you, you throw some punches so we can get him. Now, you got to work with him real good. Let's see if we can punch up and down. You got to throw punches. One hand, one hand. When you get him, you, when you get him, the fight will be over. He's not going to be able to take your punches. But you got to know that your hands have to be up. Keep your hands up. Three judges, one from the United States, one from Thailand, one from South Africa. Maybe the verdict falls into their hands, although Felix Trinidad certainly will want to try to put Hopkins on his back. In round seven by CompuBox numbers, Hopkins landed 18 punches to only six for Trinidad. If you go by CompuBox numbers, Hopkins has outlanded Tito in every round. You know, there are a lot of people out there who never heard of Bob Bernard Hopkins. He hasn't had a lot of big television fights. We're hearing about him and seeing him now. You're seeing the hunger of a 36-year-old man who's waited a long time for this moment. A geriatric wonder. He don't get them against the hoops. I'd like to see what happened in the 10, 11, and 12 with the geriatrics. He's now starting to land some hard, chopping punches on Tito, but Tito is taking them well. And he didn't go undefeated and have 20 championship fights by not being able to take punches well. And all is trying to make Trinidad walk into his trap now. He's setting traps. Go back eight years in this sport and you won't find a fight in which either man was declared a loser. And it's abundantly clear now that neither man came here tonight expecting to lose. Hopkins believes. Whether Trinidad will be able to beat the belief out of him remains to be seen. But right now Bernard is showing a multiplicity of skills as he continues to outbox Tito. I don't believe what I'm seeing. I don't believe it. Now Trinidad shuffles his own feet to try to dazzle Bernard, and Bernard says, you shuffle a while, I'll hit you. Trinidad is playing into Hopkins' hand now with the foolish. His job was always, he's been always a real business fight. Neither man has gone to the body as much as he might. Maybe the critical difference will come in the next few rounds if one man decides to focus on the ribcage. They're both terrific body punches. I think the body punches have gone out of the window now. Tito ripping with both hands, trying to break Bernard down with power shots. Hopkins countering back twice with the left hook. Tito, punch, go, punch. All night, 
Trinidad has been trying to lay on Hopkins' left hand, but Hopkins seems to get his left hand right out of the trap and hold Trinidad. If he's able to just lay on that left hand of Hopkins once, he's going to get him with that overhand right. Hopkins lands a nice right hand just after the bell, and Smoker shouts, no, 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 no. And here's the graphic that demonstrates the degree to which Hopkins has dominated CompuBox punch stat numbers outlanding Tito Trinidad in every one of the eight rounds so far. Remember, the judges do not see these graphics. All right, all right. Separate the champions from the legend. The two, three, the quick shots inside this, so we're getting deep now. Get him out of there. How we doing? I want to know how we doing. Sometimes it takes a long time to be young. Bernard Hopkins at 36 still seems young fighting one of the great fighters of recent times. Age has got nothing to do with it tonight. All about the best fighter who can, who can take it. Harold Letterman gave Tito Trinidad the first round, I think generously. Now even on Letterman's card, they're reaching the stage where Trinidad would need a knockout to win if Hopkins can stand up the rest of the way. Trinidad has tried to get in those left uppercut. He's tried. That's where he can ring home if he can get him in. The biggest thing Hopkins has accomplished by my life is he's just refusing to bend to Tito's will. He's still making Tito fight his fight. All of that determination, Hopkins has not been one out. Maybe he should. <laughs> you know, fellas, remember what Mark Antonio Barrera did against Prince Ahmed? Everybody talked about him. Walking into big punches, he came out and put on a masterful show of controlled aggression. We're seeing that Bernard Hopkins is not a one-dimensional fighter by a lot. That's the big surprise of the night. He's been able to keep, stay on his legs whenever he needed them. He was able to move out of the way. Another big surprise is that it is so far a clean fight without a single penalized foul. A shot. The closest to came was Trinidad elbowing Hopkins beyond the rope. Bowie Fisher tells Bernard Hopkins if he keeps firing the jab, he can't lose the fight. He's still firing the jab energetically. Bad Trinidad able to lay on Hopkins' left hand now. That's what he's been trying to do all night. Overhand right on top of it. He's here, go punch. That's what he's waiting on. Benedict got in a good shot on Hopkins' neck. Bernard lands a straight right hand up the pipe, and that gives him room to move off the rope. And for the first time in the fight, Hopkins is grinning at Tito Trinidad. He was able to hit him with the right hand and move out of the way. And there's another big right hand. And again, he moves out of the way. Very smart. Didn't say I hurt you. I'm going to get you some more. Hit you and get out of the way. And another right hand for Hopkins. This is a total, clinical, totally professional performance by a true professional prize fighter, Bernard Hopkins. Tito, when, when you got to throw, make sure you use that jab and then the right hand. You got to throw more punches. Don't let him push you. If he starts pushing, you push him back. And if he comes close to you, work with him. No rest, baby. No rest. Here we see, straight right hand, 
but but Hopkins is not loading up on these right hands. He's throwing short, quick punches and getting out of the way of the return. Like I said, cold and clinical. He is not allowing himself to get into the heat of Trinidad fashion. He's boxing, moving, and winning. And that's hard to do when you hurt a guy and don't go after the finish. This man is being extremely smart tonight, Hopkins. Once again between rounds, Tito Trinidad asked his father if he's winning, and once again, Trinidad Sr. said, yes, you are. I, I, think, I think Trinidad is asking that question because he doesn't really think he's winning. No, I think he wore the most discouraged look I've ever seen on his face between rounds. Harold, how do you have it going into the tap? Okay, Jim, seven rounds to two, 88-83, Bernard Hopkins. You know what I can't understand is Bernard Hopkins and Felix Trinidad they stand there face to face. Bernard Hopkins gets hooked first every time he lands the jab at a straight right. I think Felix will come in on an angle, but he just stays right in front of him. Bernard gets off first and hurts him all the time. When a guy is as good a puncher as Trinidad, he depends on that. He expects that somewhere along the way, it will play the difference. And if it doesn't, what are his answers against Bernard Hopkins? Bernard got the left hand up. He's leaning on the Hopkins left hand now. That's what he wants. Hopkins better be careful. That's it. Puts his weight on your left hand and throws his overhand right. Oh, Hopkins beat him to the punch, though. You know, George, Trinidad has landed some big shots. But he hasn't hurt Hopkins. After the Duffy fight, there seemed to be no question about Trinidad's viability as a 160-pound fighter, a middleweight. But maybe the question reopens itself as the result of the weight that Hopkins has been able to take. Trinidad punches tonight. Oh, it's not all about that. Hopkins has been extremely smart tonight. Extremely smart. Trinidad is spending a lot of himself right here because he's been taking punishment. We're seeing that's the hard you want of a real champion in Trinidad because he's come through some serious fire. This is the determination of Felix Trinidad. Trinidad is going to have to take some chances. And it's being matched by the determination of Bernard Hopkins. What an awesome show. What a great, great fight as we come down the stretch in the tenth Woo! round. Blood coming out of Trinidad's nose. Bernard Hopkins won't take no for an answer. Steve Smoker trying to pull Hopkins trunks up. Clock still running. Trinidad running out of time. Trinidad is weakening. Very weak. 
Got to be careful with him. He's still that powerful puncher. Good uppercut by Hopkins. Trinidad visibly tiring for the moment. Bernard Hopkins bet $100,000 on himself to win the fight. Because he doesn't want to lose that 100000 Another huge round for Hopkins. Trinidad has landed maybe two punches in the round. Bernard is taking target practice. I doubt if his corner will let him come out another don't round. Punch, don't punch, don't punch, don't punch. Thank you. Thank his daddy's you. still telling him he's winning. No, his dad may have to tell him to sit it out. Hopkins is dangerous now. All of a sudden punch, he's punch, starting punch, to smell punch, victory punch, punch, and even a knockout. And he's patient with it. Overwhelmingly pro Trinidad crowd trying to lift their man. Hopkins just keeps pounding away. No, 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 no. Break, break. Step back, step back. Step back. Hands up, hands up. Absolutely astonishing performance. Sometimes when a fighter is labeled a kind of a genius, he's bound to disappoint you. Big right hand. Yeah, this, is one of those, this guy has got a box and a terror. Bernard Trinidad is everything we would not expect. He's been dead and more. Everything. Trinidad is hurt from the accumulation of punishment as round 11 comes to a close. You got to close, big. All right? Close, big. Last round. Last round, baby. Hey, look. 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 With the water, boy. You on? You got it on, baby. It's in the computer. Okay, it on. All right, copy your box numbers. Watch Tito Trinidad do only 14 punches in the 11th round. He looks like a fighter with very little left in the tank. Now let's see what he's got for what might be the last ditch round of his career. Harold, how do you have it coming to the 12th? Okay, Jim. 108, 101, nine rounds to two, Bernard Hopkins. I only gave Tito Trinidad round one and six. All the rest to Bernard Hopkins, boxing beautifully from the outside. Get out, get out, get out. Hopkins better go for safety and get a knockout. You just can't trust judges. Well, Hopkins still wants to fight. He's not sitting on his lead. He's seen somebody try to do that against Trinidad without success. Hopkins imposing his will and his skill on the man who is tonight the lesser fighter. Trinidad continues to come. He'll never quit. No He'll never retreat. stop coming. No retreat. Oh, huge right hand. Huge right hand by Hopkins. Down goes Trinidad. I'm not sure Tito can get up. He's got the desire. He's never been knocked out. This fight is over. Steve Smoker stops it. No. Bernard Tito Trinidad comes in. Hopkins. He knocked out Trinidad. Bernard Hopkins has put himself up there in the list of all the great middleweights. His 14th consecutive defense of his title. Trinidad, a beaten man. He was beaten boxing, and then he was beaten physically. He was beaten 
with the smarts of Bernard Hopkins. He was beaten with the heart of Bernard Hopkins. What a performance. I'd like to find my words so I could eat them. <laughs> oh, what brilliance. Oh, what brilliance. Here's a guy who tonight, just as he has through his whole career, did it his way. He insisted on his individuality, his right to govern his career and his life on his own terms. It cost him a lot. He got it all back tonight. And you know, there was a lot of inspiration in New York City for the United States flag, and he fit into the inspiration. There's your winner. There's your winner in a big way. And a Felix Tito Trinidad, who had never before been so physically beaten up in his career, never before knocked out, goes down in the middle of the 12th round and cannot continue as Bernard Hopkins punctuates a huge and thrilling and unexpected victory with a sensational power shot show in the 12th round. Oh, what a right hand, George. What a right hand. Every shot. This guy was so... I never thought his legs could last, but I guess those 150 pounds, exactly what he needed to move around. He 157 pounds, three pounds under the limit. Some people he thought, oh, no, he'll all. be too weak. He wasn't too weak. He was too strong. He for tricked Trinidad. us all. He tricked us. A Here's thoroughly it. dominant performance from start to finish. Hopkins by CompuBox numbers landing more punches than Trinidad in every single round of the fight. Hopkins never did anything dirty. The referee had not a chance to disqualify him. No, it was a great, great fight all the way through. Never did anything dirty. Un and what a show of determination to will by Felix Trinidad. Thoroughly beaten throughout most of the fight, but fighting like a winner who believed in himself, he never stopped trying never and coming. Never stopped trying. A champion to the end. Scorecards show that Hopkins was headed for the easy victory. On the American scorecard of Don Ackerman, he was up 109 to 100 going to the 12th. On Stanley Christodoulos' South Africa scorecard, he was up 107 to 102. And on Anak Pontonkam's card, the scorer from Thailand, he was up 107 to 102. So Hopkins had won the fight on the scorecards as they entered the 12th, just as we expected was the case. Without any trust of the judges, he went for the knockout. Now let's go to Jimmy Lennon Jr. to announce the official particulars on Hopkins' triumph. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of 1 minute 18 seconds in round number 12. Our referee in charge, Steve Smoker, recognizes the corner and stops the contest. The winner by way of technical knockout tonight earning his place in boxing history as he is now the undisputed middleweight champion of the world, Bernard, the executioner. Hopkins!